Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video in which I'm going to be allowing you to rummage through my bins. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, so don't say I don't give you anything, okay? Let's get started. So today I'm going to be sharing the contents of my bin with you. These are my used up makeup products. I've been squirreling them away for a rainy day, such as today, which quite literally is a rainy day. It's cats and dogs out there. But I'm going to be sharing every makeup product that I completely used up this year, not something I gave up on and cast aside half used. These are only products that have been used until there is no more using to be done. They are done, they're finished, they're empty, quite literally. And I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts. Would I repurchase? Have I already repurchased? Or am I just letting it sail away into the sunset or the recycling? Let's find out. I'm excited because I really don't know what's in here. I've fully forgotten the contents of most of this. So this is gonna be as much of a surprise to you as it is to me. This really tells you so much about the person. Okay, so as you might expect, there's a lot of mascara here and I feel like there's probably not as much as there should be. There's one MAC Stack mascara and I'm confident I went through at least two of these and also a mini. I think I might have forgotten at times to put things in the magic makeup bin and put them in the real bin by mistake. I definitely went through a couple of these this year. I haven't repurchased it like a third or fourth time yet, but I am definitely going to. I've just been testing a lot of new mascaras and I don't want to buy one and let it sit there and, you know, go bad in my drawer before I've got the time to use it. So I will be repurchasing it. It's still one of my absolute all-time favourite mascaras. A lot of mascaras came and went this year and nothing really toppled. My top few, my Benefit Roller Lash, my Charlotte Tilbury and this one, I'd still say they're absolutely my top three and that one will be being repurchased very soon but I know I went through a good couple of those, maybe two and a half this year. I just didn't know where the others went. Next up, I gave the Chanel, is it the Rouge Allure? Yes, no, it's not. It's the Noir Allure mascara, another go this year. I don't really know why. I think what it was is I actually loved the mascara and I love this packaging, but it just doesn't live very long. It literally is gone and past its best in a few weeks. And I decided to pretend that wasn't the case and give it another try because I really want to love it because I do love the effect that it gives me for the first couple of weeks. But for the price point, it just doesn't last long enough. And I know people will say, oh, you know, you can put a drop of, what is it? Is it makeup remover or oil in there or something to freshen it back up? I shouldn't have to do that for a mascara as expensive as this. And I can't be bothered to, and I won't because I don't need to. There are many others that will last a lot longer for your money than this one. It's a shame. I think it's probably the push up component that I like so much that it's doing that because it's like pumping air in there every time that you do it. So that was probably a little bit silly, but as usual, Chanel have chosen like bells and whistles over performance, which is no surprise. Next up, two of my Holy Grail Charlotte Tilbury mascara. I already am using like a fairly new one. So that's three. I wouldn't be surprised if I hadn't thrown, oh, I know what it was. I had the Dream Pop shade. So I don't think I used that up. I think I used it a, for a while and then got bored of it and went back to the black, which I definitely prefer. So I've probably gone through like two and a half and then a third one is on the go now, but these just last so so long you know they stay good and usable for months so that's why there's not more of them in my bin because they just you don't need to repurchase it that often they stay great for so long I've already repurchased it I'd do it again and will do so for the foreseeable future I then went through a roller lash you guys remember that I rediscovered this this year I have already repurchased this and I think the one I've repurchased is also like about to need 
repurchasing again. So that's almost two this year that I've gone through and it has re-solidified itself into my top favourite mascaras. It's just the perfect separated fluttery spiky lash. I absolutely love the lift it gives. It's such a nice everyday mascara. I will continue to repurchase that. And then lastly for the mascaras, I went through a Benefit Fan Fest. I really enjoyed this mascara. Absolutely was, I think, my favourite mascara that I tried that was new this year. I tried quite a lot of mascaras. I think this is pretty much the only one that really wowed me. It's the mascara I have on incidentally today. I've got a little mini on the go that Benefit actually gifted to me. So I haven't had to repurchase this yet because I have that mini. I don't think I will repurchase it just because there's only so many mascaras you can have on the go. And I already have three, you know, the Charlotte Tilbury, the Roller Lash and the Mac Stack are ones that I will pretty much always have on hand, like three on the go. I don't want to make it four, that's getting crazy. I'll never have time to use them all. So yeah, I don't think I'd repurchase it, but I did really like it. It just hasn't made it into my top three and therefore I have to let you go. I'm so sorry. I then have one Benefit Brow Setter, 24 hour brow, brow setter, brow gel that I went through this year. I haven't repurchased this. I've kind of moved on. I've moved on. First of all, I started using the By Ellie brow gel, which I really love and I do prefer to this. I find it holds my brows better than the Benefit. But then more recently, I discovered the Rare Beauty brow gel. Oh, that was new out, wasn't it? That was a new discovery, which definitely beats out the benefit. I think the Rare Beauty just holds better and it manages my brows better and I can get a better shape and a longer lasting result. So I don't think at this moment I will be repurchasing this, but I did like it for a long time. It was as good as it got for holding my brows in place, but no more. Two of my go-to brow pencils, the Huda Beauty in the shade Black Brown, number seven. I've got one of these on the go at the moment. I wouldn't be surprised if, again, I think I might have thrown one of these away. I don't think I could have only gone through two in a year because this is the only brow pencil I use. So I think, again, I might have forgotten to save at least another one of these. It's been my go-to for a long time now, have already repurchased it, will always repurchase it as far as I'm aware unless something new comes out this year hopefully it does because I'm always looking for better I'm just never satisfied and I'm not loyal when it comes to makeup something better comes along I will shove that by the wayside but as it stands at this moment that has yet to happen will keep repurchasing it's perfect so nice and thin and tiny perfect shade that's kind of more cool toned I find it very easy to use I do go through them quickly though that's why I'm surprised there's only two in there I don't know what I did with the others now a category that is stacked full as you would probably expect because it's one that you use or I use every time I do my makeup it's primers first up the Charlotte Tilbury Invisible UV Flawless Poreless Primer. This is the second one, I believe, that I've been through. I already have one. I haven't, I have repurchased this, I think, twice, and now I've been gifted it twice. So I'm on my, I think, third one, but that third one was gifted to me, if that makes any sense. If it hadn't have been gifted to me, I absolutely would have repurchased this. This is a staple for me. If I'm going essentially makeup free, I will still put this on my skin because my skin doesn't like do very well in either very cold or very warm conditions without something on it throughout the day, whether it's just SPF and topped up or something like this. If I've been in the house all day and I haven't been wearing makeup, if I then go on the school run or I take my children to one of their clubs or just swimming without applying something, my skin will just go on fire. Is that just me? It doesn't like it. My rosacea does not like it. Or maybe it does, depending on how you look at it. So I will always whack this on. It just keeps my, my skin looking healthy and hydrated. It feels nice and hydrated and it gives it a perfect glow without adding coverage. It's perfect on holiday because it's got 50 SPF in here. So again, if I want to apply or reapply makeup in the evenings and I know that makeup goes on top of this beautifully, or I can just do a little bit of base over the top of this and have a really nice amount of SPF as well as a little bit of coverage. It's just a very versatile product that I really love and really can't see myself being without anymore. And that, this is great because you can twist the cap off 
as I did, and squeeze like every last drop out, which I really appreciate it. And it's obviously very travel friendly as well. Perfect for the hands, making the hands look nice and glowy and hydrated, just a real hero product. Next up, I have one each of the Tatcha Silk Canvas primers. I used up my liquid as well as one of the solids. And I have both of these restocked. I think the liquid was gifted to me and I purchased the solid. I think that's the way around it was. You know, I have spoken about how Tom Ford Climber has become my favorite, but these are still both excellent and are, you know, probably second and third. I think in my primer rankings list, they're both excellent primers. If I want something that is probably a bit more smooth, I will go with the liquid. If I want something a bit more fresh and hydrated, I will go with the solid, but they're both excellent primers. Love the feel of them on the skin, very luxurious packaging. And although they have been bumped off top spot, I still really enjoy them and use them quite a bit. Two of my Pat McGrath setting powders that I used up this year. This looks like, I can't actually see what shade they are on the back because it's completely worn off, but I can see in the pan, this was a light, the lightest shade, and I imagine this was the yellow, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So I buy all three shades of this. I use the light in sort of starkest winter. I typically will use the yellow in between and throughout summer. I don't use the medium or the second shade that's not the yellow <laughs> very often anymore. I, I have one at the moment that is almost gone. Again, it's got a lot of pan in there. I'm using that as a eyeshadow base so I put concealer on my eyelid and then I'll set it with that medium Pat McGrath powder but kind of my go-to's are the light and the yellow those are my two favorite shades but I went through one of each but I went through a light and a yellow this year both have been repurchased and I have really severely hit pan on the medium also will continue to repurchase the, those it's one of those products that at this point I really can't see it being beaten I mean, who knows what the future holds, but I don't know how we would beat it. But let's see what you've got 2024. Can't wait. So speaking of the Tom Ford Soft Matte Primer, I have two that I fully went through, I think, this year. I think the at least the solid of the Tatcha, I think I'd maybe started it like in the middle of last year and it's just taken me a long time to use up. But these, I think I went through both of these this year, which is unbelievable. I have a third one in my drawer. I had slight panic and I still don't fully know what's going on with this primer. It definitely hasn't been discontinued here because I've repurchased it recently and I can find it in stock places, but it does keep going out of stock, but then it gets restocked. So I don't know if it's just suddenly really popular and they're struggling to meet the demand or if they're like phasing it out. I don't know, please say no to that. Please let that be a no, absolutely not. I need this forever in my life. It's my favorite primer. I find it so smoothing and perfecting on the skin. Every foundation just looks better over the top of it. It's the smoothing quality for me. Very, very flattering, perfect for mature skin and also for keeping any oils at bay throughout the day that might come through and disturb your foundation. I really like the packaging. I love that it's one pump for my whole face. You can't go wrong, it's amazing. I have already repurchased a third one because I can't live without it. And finally, I used up two foundations this year and I'm really cross because I feel like if I had thought about this sooner, it could have been more and I, if I'd focused on a couple. The Hourglass Foundation, I'm sure, is like a couple of days away from being used up in my summer shade. And the same goes for the NARS as well, the NARS Light Reflecting. Both of those have, are on their last legs. I can see, you know, clear bottle like all the way down, but they're still going, so I haven't been able to include them here. But foundation bottles that are definitely all gone. I've got a Tom Ford shade Illuminate that I used up this year in this shade Shell Beige. This is definitely my most used shade. I keep three shades of this now. I've got kind of, this is my pretty much year round and then I've got one that's a little deeper and one that's a little lighter that I like to mix in and out. Thought that was my dog growling but it was an aeroplane flying really low. <laughs> 
you know, I go through at least a bottle of this every year. It's my go-to. It's my most used foundation day to day. You guys have probably become fully sick of hearing about it from my mouth at this point. But as you would expect, I went through a full bottle of my most used shade. I think that's what's extra impressive when I finished a foundation because I have it in two or three shades and a lot of the time that I'm mixing if I only had one shade I used year round I probably would have used that four or five foundations this year but again I have my hourglass foundation in three shades I have the NARS in like four shades I think because I was gifted some so you know obviously that does slow down your progress. The other foundation I have fully used up finally is the Chanel number no. one. I have actually gone through, I think you, you can see it's got big gaps all the way down because I've actually been going through and like scraping it out to just get the, I mean, I'm not like trying to lick it clean or anything, but I do want to get the bulk and the vast majority out before I say it's used up. This is my winter shade. I think this must have come out in the winter and I used it a lot at the beginning of the year, maybe mixed maybe in the summer and then have been using it this last couple of months. So it's definitely got more use than my summer shade because I just think that's when it came out. But my summer shade is also not fresh and new. It's We're going through it. I haven't repurchased this yet, shade yet because I have literally only just used it up and I know come sort of spring, I'll be able to use the deeper shade that I have. This is BD41, I think I have B50, which isn't super dark for me. I'll be able to use that come spring. So I feel like I can do without it for a couple of months. It's not an urgent repurchase like the Tom Ford would be. I can kind of, you know, use my others. It is a top five for me, I think still, but it's not first, second or third, I wouldn't say. I can use my Prada, my Tom Ford, my Tom Ford stick, my House Labs, my NARS, and like, I think, not really miss this especially. So this is like a, watch this space. I still have my summer bottle to start using again in a few months. And if I find, you know, in a few weeks time, I'm really missing this, I can't do without my winter shade, I'll keep you posted. At this moment, I think I'm just gonna wait until I can use my summer shade. It doesn't feel like an emergency repurchase to me. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the contents of my makeup bin this year. That is everything that I fully used up and my thoughts on whether I want to replace it or not. Please let me know what you've used up this year. Are you impressed by what I used up or are you thinking I need to do better? Let's see how I do next year. My goal is to use up more foundations and maybe a concealer. I didn't use up a concealer this year. I think it's because again, I tend to buy my favorite concealers in about four shades. They haven't got a chance, but that can be my goal for next year to use up concealers because I have many. Please tell me one item that you used up this year and whether you plan to repurchase it or not in the comment section down below. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye-bye.